Hello and welcome to another Popper video. Today we're playing Poison Storm with our new card for every blue deck. <laughs> uh, Lorian Revealed. Lorian Revealed says draw three cards. Poison Storm loves that. And it says Island Cycling 1. Poison Storm loves that too because a lot of our deck is blue. And if we can get a colorless way to get blue mana, that's great. <clears throat> now what I've done here is I've added four Lorian Revealed. I was at 19 lands which you can see here. Now I'm at 18 lands. I've swapped the forest for a snow-covered forest, and the rest of the mana base is the same, minus one island. And the reason for the snow-covered forest is that usually if I have green, thirsting roots will already be online, so it's not like I'm going to thirsting roots for the snow-covered forest. That doesn't make any sense. I would thirsting roots for either the swamp or the island. And if I'm going to Lorien Revealed and Cycle, I can't. I don't really want to get the black um, as a tap land. I want to minimize tap land, so I want to get try to focus on getting untapped sources for the blue, or get my uh, green source with this uh, Rhymewood Falls. So that's the plan. What did we cut? We cut two deep. I was playing four deep analysis and then one flex slot. So we cut two deep analysis and the one flex slot in a land for four more card draw spells that are effectively a land. It's uh, been pretty sweet for familiars and other decks, so let's see if it can work here. The sideboard I haven't changed too much. I'm playing four Hydros for red decks, four uh, Bring the Endings for Control and Ponza decks, four moments or three Moments Piece for Bogles. Hopefully we don't we can get past them. Four Serrated Arrows for uh, Fairies. Uh, walls, creature decks of any kind really, and that's how we're going to just force our way through the matches and just draw cards and win the game. That's the plan. So I'm playing this because it's uh, it's late, I'm staying up extra, well, hopefully we'll get some fast matches in and I can just uh, poison some people out. So we will see you there. Don't forget to check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash kellyguys, uh, hit me up with the like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see the sideboard plans for this on the Patreon within the next week or two. And we'll see you in the matches. We're here in game one. We've got a Lorian for a red sor or black source if we need it. We have Scary Woodlot. I'm going to keep this. I don't know what our opponent is on. They've played all sorts of decks in the past. Oh, no, we can't get the Lorian for the black source. In case they're going to be on Mono Blue Fairies, which is a nightmare matchup. Hmm. I'm going to lead on the scary. See if I can augury for a black source or something. Okay, that's pretty good. So let's play out the scary and pass. The pentad prism allows us to get ahead on mana if we can we can get it resolved. Looks like they kept the one lander for the uh, hacker. We're going to play the hacker. And best case scenario for us, they don't draw land. They went double bottom, so they may whiff on the land. They did not whiff. Sad news. Though untapped non-blue source would be good. If this were a forest here, we'd be in a great position because we could go Pentad Prism. I think I'm just going to land into Augury. Draw another Pentad Prism. Let's take that. And pass. Certainly not good. But this is not a Ninja of the Deep Hours, which is a little bit better for us. So it's better for us to not have to face a ninja of the deep hours is what I mean. And they're tapping off of spells that are sprite. So if we can draw um, a poison and a uh, proliferate, that'd be great. We're going to have to use our manas here. They're going to ninja again. They picked up the ninja. It's kind of weird. They must have got drawn a ninja off the second ninja. We draw a prologue. So we can pentad prism. And Pentad Prism again. Prologue. That's the turn. I don't feel like there's any way out of this for us, though. We're getting completely slammed. They can counter basically any of our proliferation, and then we're dead in the water. Really, uh, just did not want to play against this deck. And here comes another ninja. This is six damage. Opponent's discarding a smoke shroud, which doesn't matter, obviously. And it's actually value for them if they discard it. There's a miscreant. Let's just go to game two. This is like not worth it. Okay. 
scoop it up. Do I want all the arrows? I feel like the chalice is probably not good enough. Um, we could bring in some number of brain the endings to counter their spell center sprites. I need thirsting roots. Got one more, one or two weathers. We want to basically get to the point where we just arrows them out. We need to protect the arrows with the brain the ending. That's my plan anyway. We'll see if it works. So we need good mana. We have Hickory Falls into Pentad Prism Augury. I'm going to keep this. If we can get the Pentad Prism out early, we can get the Serrated Arrows out early and then start wrecking them. The Rhinewood Falls does not look good right here. Probably should just be a regular forest. They're not going to give it to us. So let's play the Falls and pass. We'll see if they flash in a Brine Barrow and then attack a Ninja. <clears throat> that's the that's what's happening. Depending on what ninja they have, we can arrows it. Okay, no ninja, I guess. Play the swamp. That's the turn. Flash into Saiba. Okay. So now we're taking two damage. Whatever. It's kind of fine. Just want to get this arrows down. Right now they don't have enough fairies to nin to like spell center me, so they have to use a counter spell. We augury. Find an infectious inquiry. Take that. This and done. So we can go land into this infectious inquiry. See if they bite with the counter spell. They're gonna let me have it. All right. We are at 15, which isn't great. We only have a couple of weathers now left in the deck. They get in for two. I wonder if they're going to ninja their Saiba. They just attack with everything, no matter what. Okay. Draw. Poison you. Force spike. Oh, big game. So this is the rock. This is the Armatana type listing. Da -da -do. Let's go. Anti prism. See if that'll resolve. They're going to annul it. And then we will play out our serrated arrows. And just go ahead and pass. Just use the arrows on end steps. We can kind of start going off now. Get in. Sure. Take two. They're going to ninja. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and arrows that. That's the turn. They get to draw a card. We know they have Saiba in hand. Okay. Step one is play the scary. And then Thirsting Roots proliferate. You, this, this, and this, and this. Then we could minus one on that. We also just... Hmm. I think I'm going to use the Lorien right now. Draw three. Okay, sweet. Pass the turn. We did draw a Weather the Storm. All right, that looks pretty good, actually. They're stuck on two lands. They're going to get in. Will you ninja me? Feel free to ninja. They ninja again. Not going to ninja. They aren't going to ninja. They are going to ninja. Who knows? They could do anything they want to do. <clears throat> All right, so and now we'll arrows this. They throw the Saiba down. It's fine. We're going to start doing a bunch of stuff. Okay. Play Pentad Prism. Then we're going to draw a card. This, this. And then we're putting all the counters on. We have another arrows. It's kind of sick. One, two, three, four. Or we can go one, two, three, four, five. We haven't made a land drop, right? No. All right, so let's just draw three. Boom. Oops. Blue. Draw three cards. 
one, two, three, one, one. The thing is, we can't proliferate onto their creature because of the plus one counter. We can try to put a minus one counter on it the next turn. If we can get it down to having minus one counters on it, we can proliferate the minus counters, but since they cancel out, it doesn't work out very well. Gets in. Okay. Take the three. We'll go ahead and ping this, put a counter on, negative counter on there. They're going to side by yet again. Okay. Fine. All right. Um. Now we, are, now we have the brainy ending. <laughs> First, we want to draw a bunch of cards, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. Draw a bunch of cards. Do 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 do. do. Get everything down. And then we definitely have to play the weather storm. So we can play out our next arrows. Play a pea fog. Go ahead and proliferate. Proliferate. Two, three. Put some stuff on you. And then we will just weather the storm. Alright, your turn. Can't kill me with your four or five. Stupid four or five. <laughs> We can kill any ninja that enters the battlefield. Not worried about the four damage right now. We can put a couple of minus one counters on it. They're getting in. They definitely can't do anything about my arrows at the moment. Okay. Plays a fairy seer. I think I want to try to take out the brine barrow just to get it off the battlefield because it's kind of annoying. One, two there, then one, two more. Alright, I guess we just kill the fairies instead. Boom. And kill that one. That's the turn. This is a pretty decent sideboard plan, it looks like. Just murder everything. <laughs> and they don't have any uh, mana. That's also helpful when they just don't have mana. <laughs> Alright, uh, Infectious Inquiry, you to seven. They're scooping it up, as they should. So we don't have anything else. Um, do we want the deep analysis? I feel like it's still pretty good. Hmm. We just have to do the same thing again. Arrows them into the ground. Being on the draw is going to be terrible. Uh, what happens here? Nothing. They're mulliganing to six. We're just going to keep and hope for the best. So Rhinewood falls into Peat Bog. We can play a Deep Analysis a couple of times. We can play the Vivisurgeon's Insight coming up as well. They went six cards, land Miscreant. Let's play the Thornwood Falls in case we draw a Pentad. Land, go. Hoping for no Ninja of the Deep Hours. If they have it, we're hosed. They have it. We're host. <laughs> yep. Boo. Okay. Land go. Now they can just ride this to victory. Really uh, simple game. Just play their creature, kill you, you're dead. Draw a bunch of cards. It's not even uh, really that complicated. Just play the cards out, win the game. Oh no, four spike. Oh, uh, I wonder what other uh, counter spells they have in hand. Probably a million. <laughs> we know that if we play the experimental augury, it'll get countered. This will get countered. This will get countered. I'm gonna draw a card. Go to the hit me for four. See if they have another ninja. Yep. Another ninja of the deep hours. What is this three mana ninja? Shinobi? Okay. Boo. They're tapping out, huh? We have to go land, augury. We find the arrows. 
this and this. This is one, two, three, four. This is six, seven, eight damage. Play the arrows. I'm gonna go ahead and arrows the deep hours past the turn. They're gonna get in five, six, seven damage. And they kill me. So they're gonna ninja their ninja. And then ninja something else. A million damage. Go to one. Powerful. We did take one game off of them where we were on the play, but them being on the play and having turned to ninja is uh pretty much impossible to beat. We'd have to get into weather the storm. So maybe I shouldn't have played the bring the endings. I should have gone on the zero drops. Easy, easy concede. Just let me play my turn. All right, so they're thinking about it for like two minutes, but I don't feel like uh, waiting around. We'll see you in round two. Okay, so we're in round two. We have a turn two infectious inquiry. I think I'm going to keep it. We also have weather the storm that we can hopefully cast soon. We don't have, uh man. Okay, so they are on the base. They're on the blue green uh land destruction. Blue. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> what happened to Popper? Okay. So they played they played a Lanoir Visionary. I think it's better for me to just play out the draw to. Pass the turn. We can discard the deep analysis. It's a turn again. Here comes the initiative. Our opponent's uh, feeling pretty strong here. They've got the initiative. Solid. We've got a prologue to Phyresis, which doesn't do very much. We can contentious plan, draw a card. You and this. And then play the chalice. We can cycle for the green land. Which is probably useful. We might just be dead before we can actually accomplish anything with it, though, because we can't weather the storm. <clears throat> so we're gonna take nine and then five and nine, so we're just dead. Let's scoop it up and go on to the next one. We need to bring in the bring the endings. Don't really care about the deep analysis as much because we have other card draw spells that are big. I think it's okay to cut. One, one weather, I don't know. Maybe one roots, one weather. Submit. Okay, we're on the play against land destruction. Um, this is sort of what I was trying to do, I think. So I'm gonna keep. We have Hickory Woodlot into Pentad Prism off the Lorien revealed. That's a turn. I don't know if it's better to go Pentad Prism or to try to play Chalice, but we have Pentad Prism. Okay. We also play the Peat Bog right now and go Chalice. That's probably the play. Cast with Multi Kicker 1. That's the turn. And then we can cycle for an island and then play the Pentad Prisms. Okay, they're going to play a two-mana spell. Seems they messed up. Oh, no, they're going to get rid of my land. Don't fight, 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 fight. Hoodwink? Okay. Cycle. Island. So we can go land, Pentad Prism, and then play another Pentad Prism. And then we can go Contentious Plan. And now we have a ton of mana. And we can counter their junk. Pass the turn. We have a Vivid Surgeon's Insight coming up that we cannot cast if we use the... Oh no, we can we can probably just cast the Contentious Plan into Vivid Surgeon's Insight. And then we'll have the Ring the Ending. Cast a Sprawl. So right now they have five mana. Let's see if they cast the Initiative, because I'll just counter it. Become Wrecked. I hope you cast the initiative right now. Not today, my friend. Not today. 
Taste of your own medicine, buddy. Okay, pass the turn. Pinches plan. Do 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 do. Done. And I guess right now kind of stinks, but I don't know. I think I still want to play the Viva Surgeon Inside now for all the cards. Draw three. One, two, three, four. Done. Now we can play the Infectious, the Prologue, and then Green, Thirsting Roots. Guess we'll play out the Hickory Woodlaw first. Let's roots it up. Now we have a billion mana. We can cast anything we draw now. Pass the turn. Mm. No, you did not have an Avenging Hunter. You just had nothing. You got another Avenging Hunter for me? Mm hmm. Looks like it. No, Altasaur. Okay, okay. And they're going to find a Llanowar Visionary. So they're going to have 8 power, 8 damage next turn. Okay. Sure. We have a Lorien revealed. Okay, so we need to go blue and blue. Although, we can play the island right now. Blue, blue. Sure. Blue, blue. Floating the black mana. Play the Vivisurgeon's Insight. Draw a bunch of cards. And you. Done. Now we can go Inquiry. Draw some cards. Another Vivisurgeon's Insight. Boom. Draw some cards. Boom, boom, boom. You take some damage. And we can probably... I think I'm not going to cast the Inquiry in case we draw some more proliferation. We didn't. So we will just go ahead and weather the storm. Your turn. Getting rid of our non-blue lands now. Heat bug. Heat bug. So now Scary can draw us a bunch of cards. We don't have any way to proliferate at the moment. They're gonna de-glamour. Sad. Just de-glamouring away. We take nine. Land. So can we cast both? Let's just cast Delorean Reveal. Draw. Find an augury. I'm going to play the scary and pass the turn. Discarding a woodlot and a woodlot. Passing again. They have one card in hand. Swings in. We don't really have to do anything. We can play our scary out. Should I just play the warrior right now? Well, we can play the augury. That gives us more mana on the prism. Find another prism or an experimental augury or a thirsting root. So I'll take the augury. You get some uh, counters. Everything gets counters. Doink, augury again. Take another augury. You. Done. Let's augury again. And they are now dead. You. Doot, 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 doot. Everything's up. And GG. Okay, easy peasy. So if they don't have the Avenging Hunter, they lose. If they do, they win. Simple game. So we have all of our Bring the Endings, Weather Storms by a little bit of time, but mostly just trying to counter their big uh, game enders. That seemed fine. I'm not really a fan of the Rhymebund Falls, it looks like. Did not help us that much. We should just focus on getting islands and just letting Lorien reveal be the blue sources. Okay, so we have Sappers and Scary, a Brainy Ending. Let's keep, if they don't have a turn two land destruction, we'll play the Scary. If they do, we'll play the Peapog. They potentially have it. So, play out the Peapog. They're going to cycle, and then maybe play a Hoodwink or something? Wow. Yep. Okay, play the scary. Pass the turn. We're going to get rid of... 
Prologue. We need these for lands, I think. I'm sad now. They're just tempoing us out. They've had the uh, they had the play in turn three in game three, just like in round one, and now we simply lose. It's very frustrating. They get to play the Avenging Hunter, so we're gonna die. Dead, dead, dead. That's pretty decent. That's a turn. So we play the Pentad Prism on one, and then we can cycle for an island off the Peat Bog, play the Contentious Plan, and then see what happens from there. We're dead in like two turns. What a stupid uh, game. Alright. You have land destruction. You have your Entourage of Trust. So next turn they have 11, 16 damage. So we're just dead. What a... Ugh. Okay. I'm very sad. Cycle for an island. I wouldn't play this deck if you expect a lot of land destruction in your metagame. Doot doot. Or if you can't win the die roll. Let's go to round three. Try to face a mid-range deck. Okay, we are here Ugh. in round uh, three. We're versus Ezocrado, who is has been playing Jeskai Ephemerate. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Wow. I think this hand's actually decent. Because we can cycle for the green to Thirsting Roots for stuff. And then if they, uh, Wildfire is fine. I feel like this deck is pretty good against control decks. <clears throat> we'll see. Leads on a preordain. We're gonna play our Ever Falling Chalice and then see what happens. Maybe we'll just cycle for the, uh, blue green land. So, multi kicker. Guess we play out this scary, actually. I'm gonna cycle for the green land. Play the Ramblin' Falls, has the turn. Okay, that time it was good to get the green. Now we can Thirsting Roots for the, the Black Source. Okay, our opponent leads on an island. They're playing a Wildfire. Now we get our black source. Thank you. <laughs> g -g -g got him. So we go scary. And poison you. Pass the turn. You're going to lead on Drifter Ephemerate. All right. So what can we do here? I know we want to play. Oh, wow. We have so much going on. All right, Pentad Prism, done. We will cast another Chalice, okay, proliferate. You, so now that's a Dark Ritual, which is awesome. And then proliferate again, you, done. We played a land, right? No. Green. Proliferate again. You. So we have a lot of mana now, assuming we can use it. Experimental Augury, and I can keep the uh, mana from that. We can play the Lorien Revealed, or we can take the Peat Bog, or the Prologue. Probably best to take the Lorien. You get counter. And then counters all my stuff. And then I'm going to use black and cast this Infectious Inquiry. Now I draw Thirsting Roots, so I'll pass the turn. I could Lorien for an island right now and then go for the Deep Analysis. I don't think that's worth it. Pass the turn. <clears throat> so our opponent gets to resolve their Ephemerate. Okay. Plays a preordain. I hope we just steamroll this per this uh control deck. Uh they have an abrade. Or cast into the fire. They cast into the fire on my Prism. Bummer town. Hmm. Play this woodlot. 
and then go for the thirsting roots for proliferate. Put you to seven. Let's see if they counter it. No. Dude, 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 dude. Okay. And then we're going to start casting deep analysis because that's not something they really want to counter. They're going to counter it anyway. They have to use a counter spell on something, I guess. Go ahead and deep analysis again. Throw out another ever flowing chalice so we can cast it with a kicker of four. And now we have a ton of mana. That's the turn. Actually, we could have cycled for an island and then cast another deep analysis, but I think it's probably better just try to overload them. It's an arcane answer for a counterspell. Actually, for ephemerate? No counterspell. Okay. Sure. Let's deep analysis. Gonna counter. We're gonna just draw three then. Doink. And then play Woodlot. And. Gain some life. Pass the turn. Pass again. The only problem that we have here is that we're currently only on three blue mana. So if they wildfire us again, we have to get a blue source. They're going to cast another Arcane Answer, getting the. what? Ephemerate? Or get in. Alright. Find a Pentad Prism. Let's deep analysis first. Draw. Weather the storm. Cast this prologue. Put them to eight. We need a big draw spell, which we find. Cast this pentad prism. We need an island. Another blue source is great. Cast this Lorien. Draw another three cards. We're doing it. We're doing it. No. Uh, we have to use our Pentad Prism in order to resolve this Vivisertion's Insight. Draw some more cards. You. One. Yeah, they, they scooped it up. That's perfect. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, we need the Ridney Endings. And I think I can just cut the Weather Storms. We could also consider bringing in the Serrated Arrows for their creatures. Or Hydro Blasts. They're probably going to bring in like Dust to Dust. I'm going to cut these two ch arrows for two Hydro Blasts. Alright, we can't keep that one. That's a mulligan. We have Rhymewood Falls. I'm going to keep. So what do I have to put back? I guess it has to be the Inquiry. Kind of disappointing. Land go. See, so Rhymewood Falls. They cleansing wildfire. So we can thirsting roots to get a black source and then cycle it. Play that. That's the turn. Cycle the Lorien for a blue source. They're gonna preordain a brainstorm. Okay. Maybe they're gonna brainstorm into a wildfire and then leave us the availability to play the pentad prisms into the thirsting roots. They cast an auger. What do you get? Reveals cast into the fire. Cycle this. Green island. We're out of card draw. We draw a contentious inquiry. Infectious inquiry, I mean. So the question is, do I try for prism into prism into thirsting roots now? I think so. A dead prism. Okay, green, white, and dead prism. I think they're holding up a Pyroblast. And we go Thirsting Roots. Pass the turn. They're going to try playing a cast into the fire, and we'll respond with a Brain the Ending. Maybe that's not worth it. Preordain. Okay. Cast into the fire. Brain the Ending. These cards have so many words on them. Cast it to the fire. That's the name of the card. Complicated. So holding up a pyroblast. Okay. Inquiry. And pass the turn. Sad. They cast a preordain. 
So we're looking to play out the chalice and then use the experimental augury or the contentious plan. I'll float a blue just in case they go for a double cast into the fire. Looks like no. Well, we have a counter spell now. Fortunately, we didn't draw lands. Play a chalice. Pass the turn. Now they're going to cast Drifter. Let's respond with a augury. There's the Pyroblast. Opponent knows what's up. Easy Pyroblast. Never didn't have it. Always turn two Wildfire into Pyroblast. <laughs> <clears throat> so now we get to go contentious plan, put some counters on our stuff, cast experimental augury, more counters, and then we can cast infectious inquiry, and then more stuff. We're at 16, so we're getting beat down. Plan. We haven't drawn any lands, which has been a problem. Cast augury. I think I have to take the, let's see, I think I want, so if I have the Lorien, can I cast it? No. Let's take the Woodlot, you, this and this, play the Woodlot. So I can now just cast, well, I can cast the Bring the Ending on their turn, counter an Arcane Answer. Or I can just Infectious Inquiry right now, and then uh, fight on my turn. Next turn. That's again. Right now we can put them to 7th Poison, assuming nothing gets countered. We kill our artifact, and they're going to Wildfire us. They Wildfire themselves. It's in for 1, puts us to, thir to 12. Another woodlot's not great. Let's go for proliferate. You. One and one. Attempt to cast a prologue. We play a scary out. We'll pass the turn. We cycle. So, what's going wrong in this game? Mostly we just didn't have that much going on. Lots of counters from there, and I guess is basically what it was. 3 mana, 4 mana, they go for an Arcane Answer, which we will cast a Counterspell on. They have the Counterspell. Okay. We're going to get back the Ephemerate. Here. Ephemerate, and get back what? Red Blast. Alright, I guess they got us. Let's go and... We know the Hydro Blast and Bring the Enders are good, but I don't know. I feel like it's fine. It's the way it was. Maybe I should bring in more Hydros. I'm going to keep this, play the Scary, and pass the turn. All right, let's grab our, our green blue land. Pass. We're going to tap out for a Wildfire. So now we can go Pentad Prism, Thirsting Roots into plan. So Thirsting Roots gets us our mana back. And then we'll just try drawing a card. And then I guess pass. If they've cast into the fire now I'm gonna be sad. We're gonna to want to play out the Peat Bog I think. Now we're looking for a big card draw spell or whatever. Two mana. They revoke our thing. Okay. Keep bug, pass the turn. Now we want to build up our mana and try to overwhelm them. But they're building up their mana too with Cleansing Wildfire. We have the Lorien. Let's yield. One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana, so. We can try to bait them with the Contentious Plan into us casting the Lorien. If they leave up just one counterspell, they're going to continue making land drops. We will pass the turn. Brainstorm. Alright. Plays a land. Augur of Bolas. Cast a prologue. Okay, so they're gonna hydro it. 
or pyro it. You're gonna let us have it, okay? To be able to cast into the fire. So they're gonna cast cast into the fire with the red and the white land, and then these two can be left open for a counter spell. So cast this chalice. Go ahead and cast a contentious plan. They can cast into the fire right now. They're gonna red blast. Okay. Cast a contentious plan again. Give mana. We'll go ahead and cast this inquiry. I really needed to get to a point where they tapped out so I could resolve the Vivisurgent's insight or the Lorien, but they were pretty smart and they let it they wouldn't let me get there. I have to pass the turn. We have one, two, three, four blue. We have six cards in hand. At least one of them is the, the cast into the fire. So if they cast into the fire now, they can only use one counter spell. They would top bottom. Cast Augur Volus. Reveals Red Blast, and then I have double counter spell up again. I cast the Pentad. Attempt to cast Delorean Revealed. Red Blast. So do you have another counter spell? No. And you. Land. Black. Cast an Infectious Inquiry. That's the turn. Now they're at four. They have cast into the fire in hand, no counter spell except for whatever they may have drawn. They play Arcane Answer to get back a counter spell. Like a boss. So I can play if I play the infectious inquiry, they have to use the counter spell. They didn't have a red blast before. Try casting infectious inquiry. Counter spell. Okay, so now I'm gonna go. Pentad Prism, Augury, looking for a big draw spell. Are you kidding me? Boo! Man, so the only thing they could save us now is a deep analysis. It's, free, it's really kind of ridiculous. Okay, no. We are here simply attempting to win a match. Never giving up. What is Kenji on? I don't know. Keep, I guess. Let me put back the deep analysis. If we draw any bounce, any uh, dual uh, two mana land, this is a pretty good hand, I think. But there, I'm on a red. Yeesh. A land cycle. Grab the Rhymewood Falls. So far, I think this deck is uh, not performing super hot, obviously. I think we went uh, one and two in all of these games, so it's not like it was not close. All right, there's the Rhymewood Fall, so or the Pentad Prism. Um, play the Falls, pass the turn. We can Pentad Prism into Contentious Land off this island, or just Pentad Prism and play a, a two mana land, uh, a Depletion Land, and then just see like where to go from there. We need to chain. They're stuck on one land, which is good. They got the fancy swift spear. They're already uniting. Opponents seriously considering their options over here. They played a land and swung out. Played a Kessig Flame Breather. Not looking good for the home team. Okay. Play Pentad Prism. Say done and pass the turn. I don't think we want to just blow our prism right now, but if they play a lot of spells, then we would want to play it. They're going to expand with the synthesizer. We're going to yield until the blocks. In case they spam three spells, we can gain back 12. Okay, there's a lava spike. So this gains us back nine. Puts us to seven. Okay. So I think I can do more than three. One, two, three. So because of the prism, it makes all of these cost one mana, which means I can gain 12 life on my turn. So I'm going to not spam it right now. That's good too. Cast with multi-kicker. 
right? So now we get to go contentious plan, one, two, Lou, contentious plan again, one, two, done. We can cycle this for an island and then cast the pentad prism, cycle for an island, play the island, and then weather the storm. The island you can go blue white below the prism cast weather storm or we can try to use the prisms to go off next turn i think we want to use the prisms to go off next turn in 12. here we go 19. do it again opponent we're now with three four five six seven eight mana then we're going to pentad prism into contentious land and we'll have three, four, five, nine mana. We can cast the Vivid Surgeon's Insight. See what happens. They have a Lava Spike. That's five damage. Another one would be five damage. And the Festivities. So that's three damage. So we're at eight. Nine. Okay. All right. Pentad Prism. Done. Go ahead and cast the contentious plan, letting all my things put putting counters on my all my things. We still haven't actually accomplished very much. Okay, blue. Blue. Cast this vivid surgeon's insight. There are some cards. One, two, three. Two, three, four, five. This is not great. What's the likelihood that they can kill me this turn? Pretty high, right? Just two spells kills me. So I guess I have to just go for it. That's this. We still haven't poisoned them at all. All right, we out. We out. <laughs> they win again. We're bringing in all the arrows. We're bringing in all the hydroblasts. Cutting the everflowing chalices. I'm gonna cut the deep analysis. Maybe Lorien is just too expensive. To actually be useful, it should only be like a two of. I don't know. Right, uh, I'll trim one Lorien. I don't know. It's still good, but it's a lot of blue, blue mana just to cast it. Right, let's try out to see if just the two, two Lorien's is any good. We'll cut on. I like the arrows here to take out all their pingers. Maybe I need the Lorians. Got the two deep analysis and the thirsting roots. Okay. Hopefully this is an entertaining video at minimum because we're getting ranched. All right, so we get to go. Hmm. I want to keep this. Now I have to figure out what to put back. I think I put back the. Arrows. Done. So we have land. Hydroblast the thing. Play scary. <coughs> or we cycle for the green land. <coughs> oh my goodness. That's the turn. Because the green land can get us the prism, which can get us the inquiry. They have nothing. Okay. I should have cycled past the turn. Whoops again. A whoops a doodle. And step bolt. Okay. Cassie Flame Breather gets Hydro Blasted. Donk. <coughs> Finding arrows. So on an island cycling for the Rhinewood Falls and play it and pass the turn. We have the Thirsting Roots to get the mana. And it back, I mean. Plays a synthesizer, finds a smash, so it doesn't matter. Good to know, I guess. The mountain. Pain lightning, okay. We can go green black, or we can just probably doesn't matter. We can pentad prism. And then play. 
the infectious inquiry. Draw. Okay, a peat bog. Pass the turn. We're at 12. We have all our colors now. We can cast the thirsting roots. We can get the arrows into play. They play a land. They smash my thing. It's dead. We're at 9. Teams are leaning pretty hard on the smash of smithereens. Let's go with a contentious plan to draw a card blind. You, one, two. We find the weather. So we can contentious plan again. You and these two. Play a land. And go ahead and play the weather storm for nine. Your turn. I want to be able to take out their creatures. So if they crack the synthesizer, I can go serrated arrows, ping one, and then start proliferating. Reckless Impulse finds a mountain and a Reckless Impulse. Reckless Impulse finds a chain lightning and a synthesizer. So they're probably just chain lightning here right now. Nope. No pay. I just plan. All right, we're going to plan them. You. And these two. Find another arrows, huh? Cast the arrows. And proliferate you and the arrows. Pass the turn. If they have a smash, it's fine. Chain lightning. Okay. I'm just doing a yield until next end stuff here. Oh, they are going to crack their creature. Interesting. They're going to make a creature. I guess we can turn off the yield. Hang this. Pass the turn. We are now at 12. Play the scary out. I think I'm going to lead on a, an augury just in case I draw a weather storm or another draw spell. Entad prism. I guess I take that. You. These two. And your creature. Play the Pentad Prism. And then play another uh, Arrows. Fortunately, we ran out of gas. That's the turn. That kind of makes sense that we ran out of gas, given that we took most of the gas out of our deck. <laughs> Oops, I have sexed again. They make a creature. They find a mountain. They make another creature. Hmm. Find a smash. Can't cast that. That's good for me. Let's see if they play a Swifty. Nope. They got that one. And that one. Play a Woodlot. Pass the turn. We are looking for Lorians. We're looking for Vivisurgeons. I think we took all the deep analysis out. Yeah. That's a turn. They have five cards in hand, though. I guess they're waiting to play the Acoustic Flame Breather and then just, like, really go off. They only need three burn spells to kill me here. Somehow they don't have it. That's the turn. Pretend we have Weather Storm, I guess. Alright, we're dead. This is pretty disappointing. I really thought Lorien was going to go better than that. Synthesizer reveals lightning bolt. So they can put us a six here. We crack a synthesizer. We're not quite dead yet. Okay, we go to six. And we got a two. <sighs> okay. We're gonna try one more for posterity. And uh if it's land destruction, I'm just gonna scoop. <laughs> but let's look at the deck. I mean, what is what is wrong here? It's probably just that these are too costly. It doesn't actually do as much as we want. We're not really playing cantrips to maximize it. Maybe we should be playing brainstorms. We're gonna play this Lorian. I don't know. The Rhymewood Falls is not very good. So, yikes. We'll try for one more. All right, Jack. Les Molina. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna keep this. I can woodlot, turn to 
Okay, play the woodlot pass. Mono blue, I'm just gonna give it to him. <laughs> I don't even care. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Bye. Okay, yeah, that was brutal. Uh, my recommendation is to ditch Lorian. Do not play it in Cycle Storm. Bail, bail, bail. <laughs> I hope you had some fun watching the video. We'll see you the next one.